Hey guys, so this is how the weld turned out. We've got some stacks in there, but uh, I'm not a professional welder. Uh, I'm just a hobbyist. I think I haven't welded too often, but you know, I think it doesn't look bad. Uh, I definitely I got to control my speed a little bit. I think I uh, waited too long over here because it's more built up. Got a little bit better by the time we got to the back, but uh, I think I got to control my speed. I got to go a little bit faster. I think uh, it's built up pretty good, so you know I'm gonna end up grinding anyways, so I'm not too worried, but. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side So uh, here's the second side um, I think it's a lot sloppier in my personal opinion. I got some holes and stuff I think I maybe I rushed it a little bit too much uh, considering um, I needed to go faster on the other one I think uh, Yeah, my lines not too straight but you know I'm not, I'm just a hobbyist or a welder. It's not, I don't do this for a living, so I'm not gonna be too critical about my work, but like I always say, uh, never stop learning. So uh, the only way to get better is to uh, keep welding. So I know I got quite a bit of splatter. It's probably due to maybe my heat setting or my speed. Uh, maybe somebody else can uh, let me know. And maybe I raise it up a little bit too, too high from the surface. Uh, I'm learning, I would like to, if anybody's got any uh, tips and tricks on how to do it better, or think I can do better, let me know. Uh, I do watch some welding videos. I don't weld all the time, but I think I got like the very basics understandings of how it kind of works, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll get better the more I do it. But uh, this one, it's not bad. Like I said, it's pretty bad actually, but I think it will hold for the purpose that it needs to do. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going guys. I'm gonna be grinding it down anyways, like I said. So here guys, I just uh, added some welds because I was a circle hole and I need like a, I think it's called a double D style hole. So that was uh, perfectly circle, throw some welds in it and I have to grind it down with uh, some hand files to uh, make the double D style hole that will accept onto my uh, motor shaft. This will fit onto the motor shaft but um, I need those two locking flat spots to, to lock it in. And, so this uh, sprocket. So hopefully I can do that. Um, we'll see how it turns out.
Okay guys, after some filing, uh, it didn't turn out too bad. I don't know if you can see it, but um, the D is there. Double D, I should say. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's on there, I'm gonna put the nut on and it should be good.